So I checked out, uh, brought the batteries home to see if I could charge them up maybe. I popped them open, see if they needed water, and lo and behold, they they have ice, which is um, not a good sign at all. This one's showing uh, 11 volts. And I don't even think you could do a voltage drop now. Six volts. This one's showing uh, zero. So if uh, if any of them's going to be saved, it's this one. We'll put that one on charge first. This is our uh, <laughs> what did you call it, Katie? Life saving device, death alarm. So now we know if this thing is killing us or not, or if we're just hallucinating. Paranoia. Yeah. Because it could have just been we smelled a lot of kerosene and thought <laughs> the worst. Yeah. You know, it could be headaches and stuff too. You smell enough gas, gas station, whatever. Anyway, yeah. who knows? But we're still alive today. So this will tell us whether we're dying or not. That's so that's good. good. yet? Nope. It says zero. So that's good. Um, I think it does tell you. The actual. Well, it says with the peak level button is pressed and held, it's really so nice. The peak level has been zero, I guess. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yes, well, uh, never turn the, uh, that's what I'm getting low. from it. Or we were just but being paranoid. Yeah, they shouldn't have it on low anyway because yeah. even if you're not uh, getting CO2, it stinks. It stinks. It's horrible smell. And it's turning. It's turning. So it doesn't unscrew. It just uh, you just want to wiggle it side to side and pull down at the same time. Really? Yeah. Like pull. Yeah. Okay, so Katie's trying to take out the these disgusting hoses because um, we don't know how you'd clean them or if you can clean them. We'll take them home and clean them possibly or go get new ones. So I'm trying to get out this floor here, which means I've got the the kitchen unbolted and I've put a little piece here to raise it so this should slide out from under it. Um, this piece I'm working on getting out because it's holding the floor down and I don't don't think I need to take that side out. Um, and then this is also in the way and annoying so I'm not sure if I'm going to actually try to take that out or hope that it slides out. I don't want to take that out at all. You know what's fun? Having a camera and someone hovering you over you when you're trying to do this. Is it? Yeah. Good. And then this thing banging. Yeah. It's like It's coming! 
Aha! I was looking at this wiring to see if the wiring looks like it needed attention. And everything looks pretty good. There's no corrosion. So I think I'm not going to worry too much about that. Yeah, I can see there's some fluid there. No, stay. Oh my god. Okay, there's the cool one. Here we go, here we go. Whee! So I'll show you, um, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with the issue, this one's not too bad, but if you can see, you can see here it pushes up, it bends up right here, and this is all spider cracks um, from stress. You can see here it's fine, and it starts to buckle here, and then it's all buckled here, and you can see it's even indented into the uh, fiberglass here, where it's crushed down a little bit. Um, on the Hunter forums, I've seen a lot worse than this, but we obviously we want to be coastal cruising Nova Scotia, and I want a nice strong mast and a compression post, so we're going to probably put something in, maybe aluminum. So yeah, that's it for today. I'm just going to drag home this wood, and I uh, think I'm going to start making up some uh, floorboards and test fitting them. Yeah. All right, so we're back to the battery land. Um, the battery's completely thawed. This, uh, this did the trick. As you can see, that's great. Um, do a load test on it. Drops it to 12 volts. That's still good. So, um, there's hope. There's hope this battery's good. Um, Thanks for watching our latest video, Coast Life. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also follow us along on Facebook. If you'd like to support the making of the videos, please visit our Patreon page. You can find all the links in the description below.